One question comes up so often in coaching with different pioneers. And that question, in some way, shape, or form, really boils down to just how. How? And what I've been finding is in working with the pioneers, with people who have huge visions, who have achieved a traditional level of success, a conventional level of success, and are now choosing their path to make their success forward as they step up to their next level, the question of how ends up being far more disempowering than empowering. So I'd love to offer you something different here. I'd love to offer you the question of what. What do I want to build? Not how do I build it. What do I want to build? What impact do I want to make? Not how do I make impact? So on and so forth. I'll use myself as an example here because, you know, quite frankly, if I'm not being real with you, <laughs> what's the point? <laughs> So right now I have been uh, really been trying to launch a community for my pioneers at the time of watching this here. Uh, this, this community has yet to exist in the form in which I would like. I have been working with people individually on a one-on-one -on -one basis for over a year and a half. We've had major breakthroughs and they've gone off to uh, create wonderful things in their life such as uh, taking on new leadership roles within their organization. Um, for, those, for those people who are entrepreneurs, being able to bring in new clients uh, based on who they are, not based on uh, an external projection of what they believe others uh, would want from them, and so on and so forth. But right now, each of these clients have been in their own individual world, and every once in a while I get a chance to bring them together. And I'm like, I really want to build a community. I really want to build a community, but how do I do it? I got caught on like, how do I get people to come to an event? How do I make sure that um, for the vision of the community that, that I have, there are consistently people coming in? How do I make sure I stay um, current and up to date? How do I make sure that I don't lose my own integrity as I go through and, and try and fill a, a community with, uh, with people? Not just people, but pioneers, right? And all these how questions were coming up to mind and what that resulted for me uh, is that I want to get an answer to those questions. I'm like, I want to know how. And it resulted in me doing more and more research, going back in, asking people for their thoughts, asking people for, for help. And what I, I, I didn't know what the help is that I needed or the help is that I really wanted. I think more than anything, if I was going to be really honest with you, what I wanted was approval. What I wanted was to, was to tell people I'm creating this community and, and they would just say, hells yeah, like totally make that happen. I'm in, how do I sign up, so on and so forth. And at that point, I would know. That's what I needed. I asked myself how, but it was really around, am I gonna give myself the permission? I'm realizing this in this moment. However, over the last few weeks, it's been shifting. The question in my mind has been shifting to what? What is it that I wanna create? What is it? What is the impact that I want people to have? And just today, I ended up launching that community. And that community is not as large as what I had seen it to be in my mind. That community does not have the questions answered on, on how I'm gonna get people in on a regular basis. And at the same time, I've been able to scale it to something that worked for me based on what I see. The community of a tight-knit group of pioneers who are all being challenged and challenge each other as they go on to their next level this community of pioneers who are willing to see things differently and get challenged by that and to grow through that and to not have to be alone or isolated anymore. I knew that was what I wanted to create. How it existed, my friends, it's gonna exist in so many different ways, from one-on-one -on -one coaching to group coaching to uh, live events to webinars, all that stuff. It's the how is so irrelevant in here. What really mattered was the what. And so I wanna offer you that as you go on through your day. What's a question that you've, been asked, that, you, that you've been asking yourself that starts with how? Well, how would I do it? And instead, what would happen if you just focused on the what? What do you wanna build? What do you wanna create? What do you wanna be different for you? And be able to spend the time getting into what is it at its core? What are the elements that you wanted to include? And how do you want yourself and others to feel as they're going through this year? If you have those answers, the how will take care of itself. I promise you the community that I'm starting right now will not look the same in a year from now. 
it's an accelerator and I'm going to be accelerated and it's going to be continued to be morphed and shaped uh, and really co-created by every person that joins in there. I don't know how. I don't need to know how. I know what it is that I'm looking to create. And from there, I know that I can create it. I'm Nemo Ashong, founder of Enjoyment and pioneer leader of the World Joy Movement. Today, take just 30 seconds. Actually, that's, actually, to be honest, it may not be enough. But take some time to write down five things where you've been asking yourself the how question. And see what comes to you if you take the next day, week, to ask yourself a different question. What is it that I want to create? What is it that I want people to leave there with? And then we'll take it from there. If you have anything, send me a message at Nemo at enjoyment.com. You can go ahead and leave a comment wherever you're watching this or send me an email and let me know if you're interested in being a part of this community. Like we can help you figure out what your what is if you don't know yet. That's all part of the game for us. You're a pioneer. I see you. Here's to your next frontier. Journey on.